Hello, this is John Sims with the Advised Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how to export user data from the B1500 Branch Gateway and import that user data back into Avaya or a System Manager. First, a few notables about this export and import into Avaya or a System Manager from a B1500 Branch Gateway. The B1500 Branch Gateway Manager application has an export user tool that will produce an XML file suitable for system manager import. If you are converting an existing configuration to branch use and plan on using the initial install utility, please note to run the export of user data first because the initial install utility will delete user data. The XML file may need some light editing in order to match data requirements of system manager, but I'll show you in this video how to do most of that pre-prep with System Manager and with the B5800 in advance. So our first stop is in System Manager. We want to check out some things on System Manager to collect the proper information that would, so we can then edit the B5800 properly. So you see I've headed to Inventory Manage Elements and I'm going to sort on the type so that way the B1500s are at the top of the list. And I want to make sure for the system in question, and there it is, Sims B1500, that I have a managed element already created for this system. And we'll match up the system name on that, which I'll show. Now we need to know the SIP domain. So there's a couple ways to do this. Now, a lot of times I'll look at managed users and see where the users are falling into as far as login, fully qualified domain name. And you see there it's sfield.com. But there's probably a better way to do this, and that is to look at the routing pages. And under the routing pages, the top subpages domains, and this will list out the SIP subdomain. And that again is variable depending on customer requirements and customer configuration. So now it's time to pull a configuration into the manager client, a B1500 configuration in this case. So I'll log in with the proper credentials and it'll pull in a configuration into the manager application and it's here that we're going to check some things based on information we just learned on system manager so first I'm going to head to the system pages in the configuration and under system I just want to make sure that the system name is in fact matching the managed element sims b1500 that exists in system manager and it does now you're going to see me head to the user pages so I'll head to the user configuration pages and there's some things to point out here. We need to pre-prep these user accounts as much as possible with a name and a password that's not all numeric. System Manager has a requirement to not allow all numeric passwords. It has to be alphanumeric. And then with a full name and that will build the proper login for System Manager. So those are our requirements. Now you'll see I'm just going to scroll through each user account, make sure it's set up with name, password, and full name, and then we're almost ready or we are ready to extract our data. So I'll head to Tools, Export, Users. I'm going nice and slow to show where that is. Now I'll bring this to the middle of the screen so we can take a better look at it and expand the fields. I'm going to select All Users but then I'm going to go back and remove remote manager in the no user that does not need to exist in system manager and then remember our domain name our SIP domain name was sfield.com harvested from system manager and for an output file path I'm going to go ahead and select my temp directory just to make it easy on myself then once I click OK it's an instantaneous export of this user data so now it's time to look at the XML file that was just extracted or produced from the B1500. So I'm in my temp directory. I'm going to use an application called Notepad++. And I'll go to the start of the file. And in the XML, we see, the again, the important fields that are important for System Manager is given name, login name, make sure they're built properly, surname, and a non-all-numeric password. As you see there, we have an alphanumeric password. And then down below, remember, we wanted to make sure we had a manage element that matched our system name, and it does there, and that's under device name. Now remember, if you needed to make edits, you can. It's an XML file, human readable, and you can make edits using your various programs to view the XML file. I'm going to search now on the fully qualified SIP domain again. 
because I want to find other accounts just make sure they're built properly and again they are my, my biggest concern is about the user passwords now if you prep the system and you know what you did with passwords you should be okay and you might not need to check each individual account and password so armed with this new XML file of exported users I'm going to head to system manager under the bulk import export and sub pages I'm going to head under import user management users and it's there so I'll scroll down to make sure we see a better version of the screen and this is where we will then select the XML file so you see first section is our file selection I'll select browse right to my temp directory and then I'll select the sims b1500 users.xml that we just extracted in the previous step I'll go ahead and say error configuration to continue processing other records a complete import I'll skip on matching records if they already exist. So I'll continue to scroll down and instead of scheduling this I'm going to run this immediately. So I'll hit the import button on the right hand side and then it'll reset the page. So I'll scroll down again and you see we have a status at the bottom where it's running. If I hit refresh it's already successful. It happened very fast. 100% complete, 5 user records imported, no warnings and zero errors. So it seems our import of users was indeed successful. So I'll scroll up and go to our tab home and then it's under the scheduler service. Just to point out if you wanted to look at logs on this job that ran, you'll see it's the second one down and there it is, Sims B1500 users successful, ran only once. I'll select it and if you needed to look at logs on this, you would select under more actions the view log option. So now it's time to go back and look at the users. So I'll close this tab down, I'll close down bulk import export and I'll head to user management. Under user management I'll head to manage users and we can see if one of the five or we'll see all the five actually user accounts that we've added in and there they are. Keeping in mind the reason for this would be that we're going to have centralized management with System Manager for the B1500 starting in release 6.2. And not only will you have account control from System Manager, but management control as well. So even if you have a distributed branch, it's good to have these users in System Manager for full management of the B1500 solution. So this completes the demonstration of exporting or extracting XML user data from the B1500 and then importing that XML user data into the system manager. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.